So in today's class, we are going to learn how to do rendered illustration on Adobe Photoshop. In Photoshop, there are various ways by which we can fill in our desired pattern or texture or color inside an outline. Today we are going to learn about how to place into a pattern. Now, what is place into? So let's say we have developed this print. So you can take any print from Google just for your practice. And then you say control all, or you can also use hotkeys as control A that is going to select the whole image. And then you say control C, which is copying, edit, copy. Now you go to a blank canvas like this. So you can open it just for your own understanding. So if I say paste, the whole picture is getting placed on this. If I create a little selection and then I do place into, it is only going to showcase inside that little selection. You can use a rectangle marker tool or let's say an elliptical marker tool and you say place into and then if you move that you are only going to see it inside the selection area so the same methodology we are going to apply to work on our illustration so paste into is basically paste into is basically paste special placed into which is alt shift control plus v so this is not just pasting it is actually pasting into the selection and every time you paste into if you look at the layer part it develops a new layer and when you are moving so this is your move tool if you are moving it is only going to move and when you take a printout, it's going to showcase inside the circle. Rest of the area has been masked by Photoshop. So let's try this on this illustration. So what we're going to do is, let's say this whole bustier part, we want to use your magic wand tool. Magic wand usually selects the space between an enclosed line. So if I, so I have clicked my magic wand on this and have selected only this part. Now I say control shift alt V, which is going to place my print only inside the selected part. So you can do, let's say we have taken this print and we do control alt shift V. It is only going to put it inside this. You can also make changes to this by doing Ctrl T, which is called transform. So you can actually transform this. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can also make your own engineer placement. But I just want to use the, the horse there. Now I again right click and go back to background where my original image is. Now I again go to magic wand and I select this area. Now all I have to do is control, edit, paste special, paste into. So now I can actually see what exactly I want to put here. Let's say I want to use two different prints to be placed in this area. So I have a tiger print and I have a jungle print. Now I'm doing this. So you see Photoshop is going to place into the selected area whatever you want to play. Let's say here create a new layer. Your selection is still there. I want to create let's say by my brush I just want to brush it let's say in single color 
if you see my brush is going all the way but it is only brushing inside the selection area so this tool is called paste special paste into this will only get activated when there is some selection here so let's say I want to work here I select this whole image here, and then I want to let's say put this jungle print so similarly you can again select this whole area the only problem with magic wand is it is going to the whole selection has gone out when I'm trying to paste into because magic wand can only operate when the lines are not closed so what I'm going to do very carefully I'm going to go to reduce the size and try to make a little line here so that next time when magic wand is selecting the selection is not going out now see when I select this this part now it is only selecting the dress the half cup dress the selection has not gone out now I can do my control shift alt V and place so let's say I wanted to have the same size but this is not enough the print is not enough to be placed on it so it's very easy just go to the same layer pull it down to new layer and just leave it now you have two layers all you need to do is go to control go to the move tool and bring that down so even the new layer that you have made that is also being pasted only inside that whole pattern so you can create anything multiple layers inside one pattern and you can actually and everything is going to only be seen inside the desired area.